So, you know, a lot of people really take Phil Spencer at his word and Xbox at their word when it comes to, you know, pretty much anything. Uh, to be clear about it, you know, oh, well, you know, Phil says there's going to be less exclusive games, so there's going to be less exclusive games, despite the fact that, you know, honestly, Xbox is the only ones really not doing exclusive games that way. You know, it's like everybody else is kind of locking down stuff, uh, trying to sell their hardware, uh, trying to attract gamers. So when this came out, I thought it was very interesting. Thing, um, because people were just assuming that Sony would somehow magically and, and mystically put their exclusives on Xbox now, right? And that never made sense to me. I'm like, Sony is a hardware maker. They want to sell their hardware so that they can sell people who own their hardware third-party games, first-party games where they get 100% of the digital uh buy-ins they get 30 percent of the microtransactions from third-party games they get 30 percent of all sales from third-party games uh it's really really uh a, a way to kind of control and get a lot of money like stuff like fortnite gets them like a billion of plus a year alone so you can imagine the significance of of having you know all those third-party games in your own store and all that kind of stuff and people think that somehow sony was magically going to like lighten up on that like oh hey yeah you know listen since since xbox has given us their games let's go ahead and lighten up and and not give them or you know give them our games too well then you see hey that's not exactly happening um not only is that not happening um you know it it, it doesn't seem like it's it, it's it's ever going to happen so just because phil spencer says something does not mean that that's the you know the facto thing or the gospel so sony has secured final fantasy 7 remake trilogy as console exclusives uh, apparently so a lot of people for some reason thought sony was going to give up on that or whatever but according to a new report which appears to confirm what had perhaps been widely assumed but not confirmed while the finer details of the exclusivity arrangement have been publicly disclosed, the report seemingly extinguishes hopes of the trilogy coming to Xbox in the near future. Securing Final Fantasy VII Trilogy as a console exclusive is a feather in PlayStation's cap. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake was released on PS4 in April 2020. An upgraded version of the game Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate arrived on PS5 in June 2021. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth was released last week on PS5 and will be exclusive to Sony's console for at least three months, meaning it's possible P PC players might have a short wait but to play the sequel, which isn't coming to PS4. So, you know, again, the last one was on PS4, which at the time, um, I think there was well over 100 million uh, PS4s in the wild. So, yeah, it wasn't necessarily this weird situation where, you know, people didn't have uh, a PS4 or whatever. A ton of people had a PS4 and you know again a lot of people are like oh well where's the news on the sales of this new one like listen four years later you know digital's gone up even more uh, people are buying stuff with digital uh, and in general uh, we just see that more and more people are digital plus you have to remember that that game was released right in the middle of like the start of the lockdowns and stuff like that um, unfortunately you know so yeah that's sort of a thing that uh, everybody has to kind of realize uh, you know there was a time where people were probably just like oh man we gotta we're not gonna be going anywhere for a while we better lock down and you know buy some video games and you know what's funny to me was um, you know, I'm not trying to make light of the, the that situation but in general uh, you had you had console sales doing like all kinds of records and stuff at that point um, and people could have easily played something like stadia for free and they chose not to so I always thought that was you know very strange um, you know and and at the end of the day um, you know Microsoft and and Sony are, are two different companies, but I do feel like Microsoft is, you know, falling further and further behind what Sony has been doing, especially when it comes to like third party exclusives like this. So, you know, hopefully something changes. But anyway, um, back in the game console generation of the original, they're talking about this uh, vice president of second and third party content ventures and strategic initiatives at Sony Interactive Entertainment reportedly told the Washington Post that the console exclusivity was mutually desired when the remake project got going. Back in the same console generation for the original PlayStation, Sony Computer Entertainment had few franchises of its own, and in order to find its place in a very competitive video game industry, we sought to win the hearts and minds of key third-party developers like Square, he said. 
That focus on securing third-party deals is ingrained in our DNA to this day. He said he connects directly to how we've worked together in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Final Fantasy has always been one of the primary franchise's pillars of PlayStation consoles, uh, Svensson said, adding that Square Enix is one of the best in the business at pushing beyond their fans' lofty expectations and showing what can be done on PlayStation hardware. Elsewhere in the article, uh, Square Enix discussed the benefits of Final Fantasy Rebirth's uh, console exclusivity, saying, and I quote, had it not been on a single platform, the world map would not be as seamless, and the game design might have to have regressed significantly, um, according to the uh, Final Fantasy producer. It was announced last summer that Final Fantasy XIV would finally be released on Xbox, which it did following a decade of PlayStation console exclusivity. During the subsequent interview on IGN... Um, Xbox boss Phil Spencer wouldn't be drawn on to whether or other PlayStation exclusives like Final Fantasy VII Remake or Final Fantasy XVI would come to Xbox, but he did say uh, Japanese publishers' commitment to Microsoft consoles was really important. So, again, we're sort of in this weird situation um, with these things. I think that, you know, just because Phil and company are not into, you know, locking down exclusive content and stuff like that, um, you know... And uh, hopefully, anyway, we, we start to see, um, you know, I, I doubt we're going to see ever less of these types of things, but you never know what could happen in the future. So, you know, again, uh, I would expect Sony to go out there and, you know, with every game that they sell, every, every Xbox game that they sell, I would expect them to, you know, reinvest that money in uh, exclusive content for PlayStation because that just makes the most sense for them to do. I mean, is that something that they're always going to do? Uh, you know, probably. I don't ever really see them going out there and going, okay, well, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, put our games on Xbox. And I've said this multiple times. Even if there was a market for that, Microsoft has killed their own Xbox sales so badly that it makes no sense to put their stuff on Xbox. Right, and that's just the the truth, you know. Hopefully, people understand that uh, because it's one hundred percent true. You you cannot have um, that type of situation where you know where games are ignoring Xbox so often. I understand that a lot of them are, I guess, what you would call like uh, Japanese games and things like that. But I think you've got to be able to put those games on Xbox as well. You know, I, I don't see why they wouldn't be there so i don't know what do you guys think because like i said i do think a lot of xbox fans are a little bit devastated by this news they're not happy about it uh but let maybe let me know in the comments what you think sound off rate comment subscribe i'm crap gamer this has been crap gamer reviews thank you all so much for watching rack them up